Yo, it's your girl, Deesa Mona Lore, and welcome back to the Deesa Mona Lore Show. I hope y'all got in tune with all of the top five that y'all can find on YouTube. Hope y'all been in tune with that. I'm putting y'all in tune with some music that I've been in tune with. But now we're going into this interview with Lil Romo. Like, what's going on, y'all? He made my top five um, on the first episode that we dropped. So, like, how you been? What's going on? I've been telling you, trying to stay out of trouble, stay out the way I'm trying to. I want to get out of Chicago. Yeah. When you say that, what's what's the difference between being in another state and seeing how you're from Chicago? Like, why do you want to? I think around? not knowing people, like when you can just you can really just move around. You ain't got to worry about people. You can turn your phone on, do not disturb, and literally be blocked out from everybody. Like, That's right. And a lot was decent. Like, ain't gonna lie, I seen, when when it first happened, it first happened on Let's Do It, it just happened on when I was down, but okay. Let's Do It, that's when it first happened, so when it first happened, it was decent. When I started seeing the money build up on, the, like, the revenue side, mm. they started showing me them platforms, like, I had some on TuneCore, I was looking at the end, it's like, the YouTube revenue, it just built up, it's like, I want to drop some more. Exactly. It's, Like, okay, and that how did that affect you? Did it affect your music? How did it influence that? Cause she, only thing is, I'm like, I don't know, like, growing up, like, my brother and them, they used to always be able to go to their dead crib. You feel me? I was the only one that ain't, you feel me? It was my granny crib or my auntie Tyler crib. Exactly. And that's every time, like, it's like on the weekend, if I ain't at my granny crib, I'm at my auntie Tyler crib. At the church on Sunday, we going to my auntie Tyler crib. Period. So, like, then she died so fluky, like, out the blue. You uh got a a, a lyric in a song. Uh, they say Romo, you Hollywood. Say you move how you should. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, at what point did you realize like, okay, if I want to change, I you know what I'm saying, gotta change up. So like, at what point did you actually realize that like? It's crazy, ain't nobody, ain't nobody never asked me that, like, that question, but that lyric, that lyric is crazy, because, like, people really be, like, you know how it be, people be sick, right? People be like, oh, that is he changing, because he, Period. you feel me? Because they not on that level yet. And people just think you gotta just be around them for some reason. That's why I had to say, like, as a response, like, like, as a, like, in quotation, Romo, he Hollywood, nah, I just move how I should. should. important is having a solid team behind you. How important is that for you? I ain't gonna lie, that too, that's another reason I feel like I'm progressing because of solid team. Like, like I got a set engineer, I got a set cameraman. I think you really need a set producer, that person that's gonna tell you like, you should change this, you should do this to that. Like, you can go this high, you can, you feel I agree. How My first mean? performance is crazy because that's why I think I'm busting right now to this day. Mm -hmm. I had a, I, um, I got kicked out of the South, but then I went to Hyde Park. But okay. it was like my first week there, they was having a, a, a pet rally or something. It was something they was having. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like everybody like, you feel me? They're like, sure you know how to rap? Who this? Like, sure you know how to rap? So they had the pet rally, and there was like five minutes left, I think. And okay. they, they played, they, they letting us, you feel me? Everybody rap. But I did, and I went crazy. <laughs> everybody was going crazy. Tonto. Like, they went crazy. Crazy, I'm talking about they air were like, I'm damn, this is awesome. Matter of fact, going back into um, having your set producer, how did y'all link? Damn, I, I think I think he reached out to me. I think Mike Will reached out to me or something. Okay. Cause Mike Will, he, you know, it's it's a few producers you probably don't you probably don't know him, but it's like a group of them. Okay. But Mike Will, the only one without a hit, like like without a, a artist that like yeah, yeah his own, like yeah. he the only one. So it's like I started working with him because of that. Like I, Ooh. you feel me? Like I want to come up with somebody that's coming up too. Like, that exactly. The and then I think that right. is too. That's yeah. what it is. Like he know Ooh. we both eat shit. How did you um, get in tune with Milky Made It? Like, he's so cold at the visuals, it ain't yeah, even funny, okay. so. What made you want to pick him? I ain't gonna lie, first I was working with Money Strong, but. Okay. 
Okay. That one. Look, I'm like, okay. <laughs> However, that situation went. I guess my big homie don't want to talk to him the correct way, so. How did it go? Are we then in Milky, I met Milky because he had a little fan base. Milky was coming up. Like, Milky had like a thousand subscribers. I think I hit him like, like, look, bro, look at my views. Like, let's go crazy together. I think I was on his ass. I really think I sent him like a paragraph. Like, hey, bro, my first video can be, you feel me? I pay for my first video, but the next video, we got it. You feel me? I was trying to talk to him, see what he was at. Then shit, we start, he start coming to those two sessions, getting high with us and all type of just shit. Just chilling. So the yeah. vibe was natural. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with him. Very. So is it one of those where you can you can cre- get in creative mode with him? Mm-hmm. Cool. I feel like he could push me too, like like he be trying to get me to stay, like especially like with the white bill, the sins we be doing, he be stay mm-hmm. trying to nah we can't do it right there, but we did this a hundred times already. We got to switch up. Yeah. yeah. I'm just ready because like everything be written out like when it comes to the rap shit like this shit be so written out like it's like it's how your situation is if your situation set up to be what it is you feel me like you already know what you get yourself into you know how, how long you gotta wait to drop a tape you know how many songs you feel me you know what the next check gonna be before you know what you can negotiate it if, right. if the views go up you feel me that's right so I study and chilling. then it's fact that you um studying what you're doing because a lot of people just be in it just killing their money wasting their money but not studying their craft so yeah. it's good that you um understand that so like would you choose money or success if success. The, mm, i love that i ain't a lot period just made me but happy. that's gonna come with money though period what's the successful person you know ain't got no money was it ever a point in your career where you felt distracted and felt like you wanted to quit? Yeah, Tell yeah. us about that. How, how did you get through it? I ain't gonna lie, like, I don't know, I just feel like, don't no time, like, stay too long. Like, everything got to end, you feel me? Like, even with bad problems, like, bad times and all that, like, all that stuff right. come to an end. Like, That's right. You just got to keep believing on top of like, that's right. And it, it seemed like... Because everything could get worse, though. It's like, it shit could get worse. Like, that's right. You got to be thankful for the little shit and all that. Like, that's like, when you at your lowest, that's when you definitely start appreciating every little thing. Like, and you ain't lying. It make you realize a lot more. Make you humble and hungry for more because mm-hmm. you passed that already. So, I totally agree. And especially then, it be like, when you pass a lot of shit, it be like, I know I can't go back down there. You feel me? Period. 